What is up, YouTube? Somebody would see E coming at you with a Let's Play series from one of my favorite games that I've ever played, which is going to be Gymfire. Um, it was created by Koei. It is a strategy fantasy game. Uh, really love this game. Had a lot. I spent a lot of time playing this game. I mean, just over and over and over, I played this game and uh, spent hours and hours and hours playing it. I, I, I'm kind of a nerd for this game, so because there's it's just so much replay value to it. Um, what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to start off a new new game, and I'm going to quickly explain what the game is. The game starts off with four scenarios, which is Aaron and Andrew, Flax of Shame, Tarion's War, and Jimpire. Each one of these is a has different difficulty, being Aaron and Andrew being the hardest, and Jimpire being the easiest, in my mind, simply because uh, the main aggressor, which is the Lancashire family, or the king, is quickly beating, getting the crap out of him. Um, Tarion's War being uh, the next up, for easiest, um, Flax of Shame being uh, second hardest and or second from hardest, and Aaron and Ander being the hardest. Reason Aaron and Ander is the hardest because the Lancashire family is extremely aggressive and nobody really has any provinces to beat them off with. Um, in all actuality, this game is set to be uh, a conquest for the uh, Blanche family, which, as you can see, it's up in three, four, and five, and supposedly this game revolves around them winning, and. Uh, if you let the AI play it out, uh, Blanche actually loses badly because, as I said, and for Aaron and Andrew, the uh, Lakeshire family actually just overruns everything you have. I mean, there's no way you can just beat them uh, if you let the AI control it. So we're going to start off with scenario one, um, and we're actually going to do this. The way we're going to do this is I'm going to make a make an episode, and uh, it'll be episodes for uh, each season. Uh, I'll do a save, and then we'll uh, start on with the next episode. And uh, I thought about doing years, but years are extremely long. So, uh, especially if you get into combat. Um, so let's get started. We're going to start off as a, we're going to beat this game how it's meant to be played, and that is uh, we're going to play Aaron and Ander for the first scenario, and uh, we're going to play the Blanche family because that's this is as hard, hard as it can get. But uh, it's actually easy. Um, reason being is if you look at the stats, he's got 82 in Diplomacy, 87 in Attack, and 76 in Charm. That's pretty good stats compared to Ander, who is really close to him. And actually, Ander has higher Diplomacy, but he has less combat. And he has less fame. Um, Lars is really screwed because he has 78 Diplomacy, 72 combat, and 69 uh, fame. And Chrysalis is over here on the island. And they have 52, 67, 58. Worst person to play ever in this scenario. But it's actually fun. I've actually beat it with them. Um, so we're going to start off with Blanche. Which is Aaron. And they start off with Zendor, who in my opinion is one of the strongest uh, wizards in the game. Each family has a wizard. And Lancashire family has a dragon. Dragon is super powerful. Alright, we're going to go with Eldro, and uh, just for those of y'all who have never played before, let me explain this. Um, this is your advisor. We'll never use him. Um, we will never ever use this advisor. But, uh, each one of these, if you decided you wanted to use them, each one of these has a uh, has a certain way of doing things, like Eldro is neutral. Uh, Zorax is more for a uh, combat-oriented ruler. Uh, he These random events that pop up will be more combat-oriented. Um, Jade is more dip uh, in diplomacy and uh, peaceful solutions. Jasper is totally random, 100% random. Everything will just, it'll be a mixture between those two, but it'll be random when it comes up. So we're going to stick with Eldro, who is neutral. You'll get no plus or minus on good or bad cho choices. And let's get started. Okay, now, the good thing about Blanche is that we have a, new, we have a uh, back province. And that's going to be uh, where Carl is right now. And as you can see, we have Aaron down here with 156 troops. Taking a look at our provinces. Roland, all my generals are very good for combat. Which is good, because we're going to need them. Um, let's look at my, my... Except for Anselm. Anselm's pretty useless, but he's a diplomacy advisor. So is Carl. So they'll be on my back provinces, which I like to call feeder provinces. Uh, Pender is really actually a good combat... Uh, uh, ruler. 
You'll notice his loyalty is 31. And, mm, excuse me, the reason we got, he's, he's really not loyal to the crown, but he won't defect because he, as you can see, you, you can see up here in the top right uh, by his picture, he is one of my uh, blood kin. He has, I, I'm, I'm related to him, so he will never defect. Uh, Prince Heron is, he's pretty strong for what he is. And Roland. So, we have more combat oriented people. Um, my first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to give Ander a chance to push troops up into one because I want him to weaken his own troops. So we're going to work on cultivation. And of course Garth's going to, first thing he's going to do is attack. He'd be very lucky if he does. No, he did get released. Ooh, that's painful. Mm. Let's check and see what he's got now. I think he lost his entire army. Yes, he did. He lost everything. But Norwood can't reinforce it because for some reason Norwood decided to send troops down into nine. Yeah. Well, Garth's going to actually survive. For I don't know. He may actually attack him again. We don't know. All right, Carl. Carl doesn't need troops because he's on a filler province, so we're going to move all his troops over there to uh, from four to three. Aaron is in good shape, so we're going to up his cultivation. Like Shire is attacking nine. They'll probably get that. Yep. So now they're really shot out for troops. Now, filler province, what are you going to do? You're, gonna, you're just going to work on... Uh, cultivation and protection. Now, Ander has 164 troops there. Ander also has 132 there. I'm not really too concerned about Seth, because Seth is, he's not really a strong leader, but, and uh, also their, uh, their wizard is on cooldown, so I'm not really too concerned about it. Like I said, I'm going to give him the chance to move troops up into one. And once he does that, I'm just going to rape two. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to continue to fortify. And that is the first season. All right. As I said, we're going to save. So that is actually going to be this episode completed after we see who got hit by plague, which is 23 and 20. Ooh, volcano. Ow. Well, at least it didn't hit his first front line. Any combat? Nope, but he moved troops up into one. Before I save, I'm actually going to check and see what that is. Alright, 54 troops compared to 110. That was his mistake. That was a mistake on his part. Now, what I really want to happen is I want six to uh I want six to invade somebody. There's Tarion. They are actually gearing up to fight. So let's save real quick. And that's it. That's going to be this episode. So I'm going to actually post this up, see what you guys think of it. And I will see you guys next time.